Hey, what is going on guys? So here is the finished result of my nose custom gym here. This was just based off of a little bit of basically two images that I could find online of this. One color, which is like kind of the repaired version after it's damaged, and then just one just black and white line art version of the damaged version of this nose. So I knew the color scheme, I knew what the damage was kind of generally supposed to look like, but there wasn't a lot to go off of. So here is the result, and I'm really happy with how this came out. It's a really fun kit. As you guys know, this uh, Master Grade gin just recently came out, so it's a fresh, hot Master Grade. And uh, it was a very easy kit to paint in that there wasn't a lot of work to do ahead of time as far as like seam line removal and things like that. Uh, master grade kits, you know, you wouldn't expect a lot of that, but there was like one seam on the fin on the head that was really kind of all there was. And then it was just a matter of uh, doing all the actual physical damage and everything to the kit. And I did do that work in progress video uh, showing how I did that. So if you guys missed that, you can go back and check it out. Uh, the work in progress video I did on this was basically just going over uh, the damaging of the kits and then just kind of talking about the colors that I was going to be using. Yeah, and so the colors, like I said, there's really only one image to go off of. So usually what you'll see with the other designs is there may be multiple uh, artwork. I mean, for anything, you have like how the kit appears in the anime and then how it appears in like uh, certain line art and things like that. So you have slightly different colors. Uh, between different illustrations of the kit where this one I only had one so I only had one image to go off of if, as far as judging the colors go and I think I got pretty close to the colors for this now all of the color mixtures that I used I'll put those down in the uh, in the video description down below so you can check that out uh, again I talked about that in the work in progress video the colors that I was planning on using but uh, if you guys missed that or I think I, I may have ended up doing something slightly different from what I talked about in uh, that video so I will just go ahead and put all the color mixtures down in the description for you guys if you want to refer to that but it's all had to be kind of custom mixed in order to try to get it as close as possible to the uh, one piece of artwork that I did have of this for the colors and I think I managed to get it pretty close I'm happy with the colors anyway it may not be you know totally exactly right but I think it came out looking nice and at the end of the day that's all really that matters. Now, of course, the other main thing that uh, was with this was, of course, there's the damage. I've never done extensive damage like this before, so it was just kind of a test to just try it out. And I, I'm really pretty happy with how that ended up looking. And then, like, just how to actually weather up the damage. I, th I think there's, you know, there's got to be countless ways of actually doing that. Uh, basically, the way that I tried was just a, a series of using uh, a series of just different enamel paints. Basically, I, it was like a a process. First on like the damaged areas I laid down uh, a dark color which I think was just like a uh, tire black or something like that just a, a almost black kind of color at first. Uh, then I went over that with a few brighter metallic colors like a little bit of like a chrome silver and uh, titanium silver like that uh, for like the actual like metal color and then went over that again with a darker gunmetal color that would still have that kind of metallic shine to it but it would be much darker so you would see like the little bits of the bright color of like the melted uh, uh, armor, melted metal in there, but it would also have this kind of dark charred look as well too. So I think it ended up coming out pretty well, but again, I mean, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to look like. So you're really just kind of best, uh, you're just left up to your own best guess as to how stuff like that is supposed to look, I think so. Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the actual damage sections of this. Kind of the main parts would be up on like the shoulder, the back wing, uh, the kind of slash through the face and the front of the chest. And then like on the front of the knee is also damaged a little bit on, uh, you can see there in the artwork. And then there's a couple like little like uh, pop marks here and there just from like a uh, bullet, I'm guessing. Again, without knowing any like reference material for this. Uh, just like bullet uh, hit points around uh, in a few places. So I did do a little bit of physical damage ahead of time. And then uh, after the painting process, I just went and uh, did a little bit of, uh, again, just with enamels painting and just kind of, kind of like char. So it was just like, like, like slightly charred uh, the paint there, uh, just where those bullet impacts would be in like a couple places. So yeah, without really having too much guide as far as like how to do that, because it's a, a fictional material, I could look up, you know, like... Uh, online just tutorials about how to do like sort of like bullet weathering on like uh, tanks or something I think that would probably be a good reference and maybe I'll do that in the future but this one I was just kind of like just uh, doing whatever I thought would look probably close to right so it was all very experimental and I mean I, like I said I think it came out pretty well I really like how this ended up looking 
Uh, it's not exactly accurate, like for example the sword, I know a lot of you guys will be commenting about that. A lot of people, a lot of you did comment on the work in progress saying about the sword, how I, uh, basically you guys were recommending me to use uh, something from like the Master Grade Astray, because the swords uh, that this uses are related, they were then later the swords used by the Astray Gundam as far as I believe, something like that. Uh, uh, I know the swords don't match, it doesn't bother me that much, they're pretty close to what you can see in the artwork, and for me that's close enough, I, I didn't make this, I'm not like a huge fan of this mobile suit and I wanted to make it as accurate as possible, you know, it was just kind of a thing I wanted to do with this, and for me it's close enough, it's got the two swords of different length, they're, as far as I can tell, probably in about the right colors as well too, and so that's kind of close enough for me. And the same thing goes with the um, painted kanji on the front of the chest, you can see in the line art, you can see it there very clearly. In the color artwork, you can barely see it, and as far as I can tell, it looks like it's black, which makes it very hard to see against the brown, but again, I'm trying to make it, you know, as close as I can to how it's supposed to look without it being exactly right. So the kanji is different, it's not the right kanji on there. Uh, I considered hand painting it, but after doing a couple of tests trying to hand paint it, I just don't have the calligraphy skills to hand paint kanji and make it look that good. So I did have some different decals, and so I ended up just using a different kanji decal on there. Uh, so again, it's the case where it's not exactly right, but it's close enough for me. Uh, it, you can still kind of see what it's supposed to be anyway. So. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, as far as any the rest of the weathering though, I wanted to keep the weathering basically located on the damaged areas and like that's really about it. I didn't want to have it just like weathered everywhere from head to toe because as far as I can understand from the very tiny bit of story there is on like the wiki page for this is that this is Mobile Suit was basically there to guard this one area and then uh, it got in a, into a battle and then it got damaged so it's not a suit that would be like out on the front lines and in the dirt and in the mud and getting weathered all over all the time it's basically a suit that got damaged in one battle and so I wanted to I wanted there to be some weathering around the areas where it's damaged and then for the most part for it to basically look like you know relatively clean so a clean weathered build sort of kind of thing so that's what I was going for with this. I started to go into it and I started to do a little bit more chipping on certain areas and, and stuff and I thought, no, you know, I'm just gonna have a, a very little bit of that here and there and I wanna keep it, you know, mostly clean aside from those uh, heavily damaged areas, basically. So that is what I did with this and uh, definitely guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. For the decals, uh, aside from the kanji decal, all the rest of the decals that I used were just some of the Simpro decals that we sell at US Gundam Store. So I mean, they're just pretty standard ones. As far as the decals go too, I wanted to be relatively light on the decals. I basically kind of stuck to my general rule uh, of where I will put no more than three decals on a particular like piece of armor or like a particular section basically is kind of a sort of rule of thumb that I go by generally and I wanted them all to be relatively small so you'll see the decals around here and there but they're not like a bunch of big ones or anything like that anywhere I wanted to keep them you know relatively controlled and kind of tasteful so uh, yeah, that is going to be basically it for this kit. I didn't make any sort of custom base or anything for it. I don't think that I will. I think I'll just kind of keep it as it is. It was just supposed to meant to be just a fun project, uh, painting up a new kit that I was I had just built and I was excited about and I wanted to try a custom color scheme on it and it was also a good chance for me to try out some uh, kind of heavy damage on a kit. So I think it all worked out pretty well. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about it? And uh, Again, check out the work in progress video if you missed that. But until next time, guys, that is going to do it for my Master Grade Jin here. Thank you all so much for watching, for your support too as well, liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all of that is also greatly appreciated. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Bye, guys.